Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Monday, Magical Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in just two decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to bring in some tarot, so we're going to keep it short and simple with the powerful Radiant Rider Waite. And I'm going to bring in the daily guidance from your Angels deck. So we're going to connect with the energy around you, your person, your journey with these two powerful decks. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at Guided by Angels X so at gmail.com so what's the angel guidance for you today jump straight out on the floor and i've got one card sticking out and this is also two decks in one by the way you know i have my own deck of this particular deck and then someone gifted me another one so i put them all together so it'd be really interesting if any mirror cards does come out in this deck you know if we get the same card twice so what's the energy around your person today two cards and what's the energy around your divine connection today what do you need to know jumping out in my hand there so those are the angel messages and this card's moving on top of the deck and then we're going to bring in the tarot so what's the energy around you today flew out the deck and i've got two cards sticking out what's the energy around your person today again flying on the floor these cards are sticking out as well and what's the energy around the divine connection today? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Okay, one card. So let's see what the energy is around your person today. Let's start with their energy. So the message coming through today is they want to give you their heart. They want to come forward with something real. They want to offer something to you. And that's what they're working on. You know, this was really powerful yesterday. We connected with the energy around. They're not sure how to make you happy. So they know that to come back into your life because they may have messed you around in the past or let you down in the past. They know they have to come forward with something real. Some of them are working on their finances right now to come back to be able to offer you a real life, you know, that's equally balanced. And it's so important that the connection is equally balanced anyway, but they want to be able to provide. They want to be able to, you know, take care of their responsibilities and their obligations. They want to be able to treat you and take you out for a meal and romance you and be good to you. They want to be able to give you their heart and their soul. So this is what they are currently working on. And they're going through a change. And that's why, because this is why it's an ending for a new beginning, because they can't be the person they used to be. The person that used to let you down or mess you around, they are transforming into somebody new. And a lot of them are leaving things behind them to move forward. So this is those karmic endings we're talking about, the changes, the transformation within them. So they're going through rapid change and ascension to be able to offer you things the right way. Now, the angel cards we've got is blessing in disguise. So you've been reminded whatever's going on is a blessing in disguise. So separation can be a blessing in disguise so that the perfect timing can come in. This is why we dream. This is why we manifest. This is why we create. This is why we learn to have faith in divine timing because it needs to be balanced and right and they are walking towards you right now with this gift with this offer with this new beginning and this is what they want to give to you so it's a blessing in disguise so the angels are saying to you what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayers so if you've been praying for them to come back to you in a more loving way or a way that's more balanced or more giving or more you know, so you can be equal partners. This is what's actually happening. So things like separation or no contact is actually a blessing in disguise. The angels are saying to you, you'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything begins to resolve. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. The angels know, God knows how to answer your prayer in the best way. And that's always in divine and perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspiration. So they want to come forward with this offer. They want to let you know that they've changed. They want to talk to you about their journey and things they've been going through. So the timing is coming for this to be revealed. The doors are open. While you walk through them with the angels by your side. So they are not alone as they are walking through these new doors. 
And I feel some of them have got new jobs or, you know, they've changed their circumstances to be able to be with you the right way. So when they come back into your life, they can say, this is what I've changed or this is what I've done because they want you to be proud of that. The message says, don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. So this is a very plentiful time for that. And it's a very lucky time for them too. The doors are open for them to move towards you. And that really is what June is about. It's about doors opening, new beginnings, fresh starts. So everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. So they have the support they need right now to be able to move towards you. And this is also what they are dreaming about. So they are dreaming about you at night, but they're also visualizing what will happen. They are spending time dreaming, thinking, processing. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. So this is also them letting you know that they are sending themselves to you in an astral way. That they are spending time thinking about you, daydreaming about you. And when you are connected in that way, when you're breathing through things, being more in the now, being more open and receptive... When you're relaxing and opening your mind more to receiving without the need to direct your thoughts in a certain way, you receive their telepathic communication. You receive what's on their mind. You feel what they feel. So the angels are saying to you, notice any feelings, visions or ideas as if you're watching a movie. This is the seat of creation. So I feel you're both communicating right now through telepathy and dreams to release fear you know, without fear about what the next steps are. Now, the energy that's coming in around you, the first thing is the moon. So you're being reminded that the moon can cast shadows. So look through the illusion, okay? There really is an ending and a cycle completion happening for your highest good because you are building a solid foundation. So be confident in who you are. Even if they seem to be ghosting you or ignoring you, be confident in this love because they're already on their way. You know, they are planning right now and processing how to move forward. It will be spontaneous. It will take you by surprise. It won't be what you expect. And that's for a reason. This is why they've gone within. They've gone within to process their love. They've gone within to connect with their self. They've gone within to work out how to tell you how they truly feel that they are loyal to you. So the message for you today is acceptance. And this is really about patience and that knowingness of the truth. So see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. And in this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So accept things as they are. Don't try and force or rush anything. And if you get nervous, focus on service. Focus on being your best self because your soul desires only to joyfully serve. And to swim in a constant stream of bliss and abundance and joy. And this stream continuously will feed you everything that you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and on all that you do. So what you're going through right now is an opportunity to focus on love, to be unconditional, to respond with love, to not try and force or rush anything to see things in a much higher way. And that's what's going to move things forward because the energy of the connection is the three of one. So this is progress and power. This is having a vision. And it's also steady progress. So the angels are saying to you, we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution that you're making to the world through your thoughts, your feelings and your actions of love. And remember, thoughts become things. So steady progress towards your goal, towards your dream. And this is also why, because there's a steady progress when there's a time to go. Because if they need to walk away from certain things or you need to walk away from certain things, this is the time to make that happen. The steady progress being made to move towards your goals. So the angels are reminding you the sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the awareness of life and the avenues of life. So see the beauty within each sunset in your life and know the sun will always rise again tomorrow. So what I'm connecting with this is, this is about also the knowingness that tomorrow is a new day. 
to let go of any fear or pain because endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you, the angels say, through each phase and cycle. And that's why you've got the death card because there's a big transformation coming in. The ending for the new beginning. So there's never an ending, there's only a new beginning, there's a transformation, a new way to be. And the angels are saying you are taking and making steady progress towards your goals. You have a vision of what you desire. So if you get nervous, focus on service, accept things as they are, your person is loyal to you. This is what they are thinking about, they are finding their way. When they reach out to you, and they will because they want to come forward towards you with an offer you know, something real that they can actually give to you that may be a blessing in disguise for you, it's going to happen very quickly. And you're building that foundation now for what you desire. So a trust in the love. And I'm going to bring in a message from the Guardian Angel Inspiration deck. So what's the message coming through for you right now from heaven? The angel saying what is going on within you is reflected in what is going on in your outside world. So what is going on within you right now? How do you feel? That's what will be reflected in your outside world. So focus on peace. So if you're operating in doubt, that will open an avenue for that which you do not desire to come in. So instead of faith. So if you're in doubt energy and you're noticing lots of things outside of you that make you doubt the connection or even people are talking about doubt in the connection, it's because that's what's inside. So when you replace that doubt with faith, you're going to see people holding hands, you're going to see people coming back into contact, you're going to be seeing lots of love and power everywhere you look. So focus on faith and release doubt. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.